Hello and welcome to Black Music Footprints, the jazz experience. My name is Mondre Moffitt and I am your host. I am so delighted. I have a guest in the studio with me today. I'm excited. The prolific composer, musician, arranger, keyboardist, fantastic organist, fantastic band leader. I mean, if there was a studio audience, you'd be on your feet right now, clapping your hands, stumping your feet, screaming to the top of your lungs, and helping me deal off the coldest underground show to go. Help me bring to the set right now, the great G. LaRon Rainey, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Welcome to Black Music Footprints. Oh, well, I was looking around to see who you was talking about. Somebody else was walking in. <laughs> he was giving that introduction. I'm like, who, who's he talking about? <laughs> I'm speaking of you, man. I'll tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a, indeed one of the accolades I didn't uh, mention was your humility. Wow. Uh, you're a very, very humble brother and just a giant of a musician. I've, I've come to know that from listening to your music. Uh, it's so much heartfelt. And uh, I'm going to ask you about where that comes from. How, where do you go to create such great music uh, that you're doing? We're a good chance to listen to some of, yes, some of the things. But, but where do you go and find the inspiration from create some of your music um professor first of all thank you for allowing me to be a part of the show and on the show i'm honored and humbled to be here and you could have called anybody i know your resume and we shared you share some of the stories you could have called anybody so i'm i'm grateful to be here indeed um professor i uh some of the things i do and attempt to do is just from trial and error and being around I come from a family of gifted musicians. My mother was a church uh, musician growing up in Leavenworth, Kansas, where I'm born and raised till the age of 14. Then I moved to Youngstown when I was 15, Youngstown, Ohio. I get to that. Mm -hmm. But my mother's family is 10 of them, and like all of them play. Um, my mother was the organist. My uncles were the other organists and pianists. My uncle, Bishop Lloyd Goodwin, and um, Elder Keith Goodwin, who was a phenom since a teenager on key so i listened to them and then when i was about 10 or 11 i wasn't never even thinking about music i was just a church kid sitting on the front row with drumsticks and just you know watching and things but then i heard a uh, musician by the name of c sean tyson who's now the pastor the bishop of my home church in youngstown ohio i heard him and i said if i ever play though i want to play like that and his mm. and that whole family and so then i just began to i didn't start playing keyboards to about 13 or 14 i started my dad bought a, a piano for five dollars from off the street from somebody was throwing away he just bought it and we just at home plucking so i learned like two songs and one day um uh i played family reunion and my mom stood over top and he said please oh there's only four chords then i learned another song where they only had like six chords and one sunday evening we had sunday evening service then radio broadcast eight o'clock my mother didn't show up to church and no one was there to play and they said go get go get ron ron <laughs> that's my nickname childhood name ron ron go get ron ron now you spilled the tea yeah, now go so ahead. they got me <laughs> go get ron and ron. They, i'm in you know out there just playing playing around the church you know they's mm -hmm. like no get him I couldn't play, but yeah. but that song they knew I knew how to play that song. Yeah. And when the broadcast was starting at eight o'clock, there was a bass player there and a drummer, and I got on organ. There was a synthesizer on top, and the organ looked like a, a battleship to me. All these draw bars and because I didn't right. I didn't know they just got me out the audience, right. literally. Uh -huh. And honestly, I've been playing ever since. Wow. <laughs> so. So this is like your first time playing. It was a broadcast, broadcast by myself. Okay, <laughs> my goodness. And the song was uh, Timothy Wright, the great late great Timothy Wright. Uh, stand up if you're on the Lord's side. Five six chords, the whole song, and a, and a riff in there. That's an interesting thing because, um, you know, it's very when you think about the very first song that you learn. Mm -hmm. You know, you think back, what's the first, someone asked me, what's the first sound that you ever heard? 
And then what's the first song that you ever uh, learned? First song I ever learned was a work song uh, and uh, a folk song. It's Cannonball Adderley and Nat Adderley. Uh, and it was called The Work Song. Mm. And that's the song I played, and that's the song I was first hired to play. And your first song was what, Stand Up? Well, that live. But the first yeah. song before that that I played with my cousins, because we were singing at the family concert, mm -hmm. was a song called I, I Make It. I Make It from Hezekiah Walker, like four chords, something like yeah. that. But my mom was, I was playing with one hand. You know, yeah. and, and you took those four chords and you just, and, and the rest is history. You're right. Is. Yes, sir. Because you took that and developed it. You know, uh, a great musician, uh, Clark Terry, said, you know, if you want to learn how to play music and, and you have to walk in the footsteps of giants. This is what this wow. black music uh, footprints is about. The yes, footprints. Sir. Walk in the footprints of giants. And those giants I've come to know throughout history were griots. Mm -hmm. And and you hit, hit it on the head because I want to know who were the griots, who were the giants in your life that you emulated. Oh, yes, sir. And Clark Terry said that you emulate the giants, you imitate them, mm -hmm. and then you uh, assimilate that into your personality like you did, yes, took sir. those four chords, yes, sir. and then you innovate. Yes, sir. So assimilation, well, in, uh, imitation, assimilation, and innovation, the three, the triology, the three, the process, and you just uh, uh, very well gave wow. us the the imitation of where you came from. Yes, sir. And there's a lot to that because we share a friend that we found out recently that mm -hmm. I guess he may be from the same hometown, Sean Jones. Oh, absolutely. Great trumpeter. Incredible. I met him in New York and he blew my mind when I heard him play. Yes, sir. And only to find out that you knew Sean. I knew he was from Ohio someplace. Yes, sir. And I was playing, I was fortunate to be asked to play with the New York City All-Star Trumpets, the 12 mm -hmm. trumpet players, and Clark Terry was one of them. I was one, Tom Harrell, Sean Jones, uh, just all of the New York guys, you know, except Wynn Marcellus, he couldn't make it. But uh, that's when I first heard Sean Jones, among those 12 greats. And then later we did, we were slotted to do a record together and we did rehearsals and all that. But he was incredible. And then you asked me, did I know a trumpet player named Sean Jones? I Absolutely. said, who does not know Sean, Sean Jones? Sean is phenomenal. I've been knowing him since we've been like late teenagers when I moved to Ohio. Yeah. And one of the guys that I uh, studied and was able to uh, be around and play for his group is one of Sean's mentors. It's a guy named Eddie Howard, who was an incredible, and that's like one of Sean's mentors. It, you know, he said, mm -hmm. under Eddie, he grew up in the same church. Yeah. So I would come around and then I'd be up here, Sean played, then Sean went to school, and next thing you know, you heard Sean. Still amazing. What was trumpet. this guy's name? Eddie Howard. We're talking about I'm gonna make sure he see, sees this. I'm gonna make sure he sees an this. unsung hero. Mm -hmm. We know the ones that are people that are famous, but it's the reason why I wanted to invite you here to find out who are these unsung heroes mm -hmm. that has added so much uh, to our lives. And you mentioned sitting on a front row in church or something with drumsticks. Now yes, I didn't miss that. Yes, sir. Why did you have drumsticks in your hand? Well, every kid, and in, in, I'm raised <laughs> apostolic Pentecostal. That all we did, we we be on the front row and folks shouting and dancing, and then we wanted our turn to play drums. We never could get it, so we started asking the drummer, who was my uncle, my blood uncle. We were sending notes to the usher to request a song that he led in the choir, so he can go <laughs> sing. So we can get on the drum. <laughs> so it took a while for them to catch on that we were the kids requesting the song. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> and speaking of one of your mentors, I listened to this song and it woo, it's it touched my heart. Let's hear a little bit of it. Declare these words over your mind, your spirit and your health, over your life. Say I'm healed. I'm healed. the blood of the land. Back in 2018, my mother had a heart transplant, but here she is today, still singing. Come on, mama.
declare the works of the Lord. So lift up your head, be encouraged, and know all is well. of the doctor. I know a doctor who has every remedy, every cure. He is the remedy. He is the cure. And by his stripes we are healed. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So let me testify that I'm healed. Help me say healed. Come on, Uncle Lord. What an amazing shout song, wow. what an amazing testimony. Uh, you. This is from your mentor, from your mother, and here you are working together on this song. Yes, sir. Uh, I, um, I recently came through uh, Health Challenge. Uh, I was able to be on a show last year here with Crystal Goodner, mm -hmm. and I was able to share my testimony. Mm -hmm. So this song got uh, birth from me going through chemo. And, mm. and um, so I just started declare, declaring, decreeing that I'm healed. Yeah. And so I was able to call my mother, my uncle, which is my, my, my mother's brother, mm -hmm. and his wife, my auntie. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to use my family and those that have a testimony. My mother had a heart mm -hmm. transplant in 2018. My uncle, mm -hmm. he done been through so much. My auntie. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to bring the family together and I'll decree it and just wrote it. Just a song for just to a decora declaration and decree yeah. it. Yeah. And simple. I haven't even listened to the whole song in a long yeah. time. So I'm listening like it's yeah. like it's new. Yeah, it's a lot that we can say about <laughs> it. We'll be right back with LaRon Rainey. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Yes, indeed. We're back with LaRon Rainey. We're having a great time. We were talking yes, off camera about, uh, you remind me of the old school musical giants <laughs> when you say that, man, I haven't listened to that piece myself. It's your music. Yes, and I was talking to many of the giants I've talked with, Joe Henderson and all these giants in the jazz genre. And I would ask them questions about, you know, when you played this record, what was the chord change on this yes, song? And they would often tell me, Dang, I, I never got a chance to hear it. I said, you mean you listen? You didn't have heard your own record? <laughs> uh, well, I heard it when I did it. Yeah. yeah but yes, they sir. moved on from that. And I could never understand that. And here you are telling me that while uh, Healed by the Blood, you really haven't really got a chance to check it out. And you, I'm glad that we're here uh, celebrating uh, this so, particular piece. Yes. So we looked at your imitation, your assimilation, where you got your training from, your roots. Your mom has an excellent voice, man. It was just so yeah. heartfelt. Yeah, she and then you took that and assimilated that into, somehow, you ended up in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, sir. How did that happen? Um, my good friend, uh, Mark Lacey. Uh, you better watch the show, son. Watch the show. But he, <laughs> we all, a lot of guys, I've been blessed to travel uh, doing conventions for a long time. 
And I happened to do a convention here in Louisville, like in 2010, with my organization, uh, Roots uh, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. I was here doing a convention at the Gold House. All the guys was there, him and his brother, uh, uh, our colleague, Titus on the staff as well. They was all there. And, mm. and we all just all kind of ran together here and there. And one day he said, you know what? And Joe Logan, phenomenal musician. He said, man, why don't you come to Louisville? You know, it's like, I said, uh, I, you know, I, I'm not sure, you know. So I came down for an interview and I was still wasn't sure. And he said, well, come back again. And then it was just time to come. And I saw the excellence of the music ministry. Was this an uh, interview with St. Stephen? With St. Stephen. Baptist Church. Baptist Church. The greatest ministry on oh, the planet. Oh, incredible. 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 And I, that's what caused me to come check it out. I wasn't for sure if I was ready to leave Youngstown or go to another city. But the excellence of the music department, of the uh, from the choir directors to the musicians, led by the, the, the Kevin James, absolutely incredible, absolutely a uh, visionary, incredible leader, absolutely yes. So when I saw the music department, and you know the crazy thing before I even before they even asked me, uh, a lot of people don't even know this before they even asked me when YouTube came out, I saw <laughs> clips someone sent me. It was uh, of a youth choir with Jason Claiborne. Shout out and oh my God. I think Titus was here at the time and Joe. There was a clip, and they was the youth choir was about 130 folk. And I said, man, you know what? I need to be at a church like that, not knowing that a couple years later that the same wow. church is that something? will be like, wait a minute, that's that church. You spoke it into existence. And, and didn't even know it. <laughs> so I said I, I said, I need to be there, but I wasn't for sure if I was ready to leave Youngstown at the time. That I said, you know, it's time to go. I feel, you know, not to be spiritual too. I thought I said, this is where God wants me to be. And I mm. believe I made the right choice because ever since I got here, under the leadership of Pastor Cosby and Kevin James, my life has elevated and, and things like that. So. Yeah. Anytime I think I'm doing too much or uh, 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 too busy, I think about uh, Dr. Kevin Cosby. Absolutely. And I say, wait a minute, I, I think I can do more. <laughs> and, and because of Pastor Cosby, and when I heard all the things he's doing, go back to school, has caused me to go back to school and, mm -hmm. and those watching it. I am a student of professor right here and teaching me as I'm expounding and learning more and things that I, to marry the two worlds together. So I want to tell you publicly, thank yeah, you. And yeah. I'm learning. Please don't yeah. fail me. Don't flaunt me. Don't <laughs> you flaunt me. Don't, don't flaunt me. You don't are excellent. Me. And I'm, <laughs> I'm learning from you as well. I'm learning. A good teacher would always learn from their students. And I'm learning so much. And I think about the things you say and do you put me to work. I go do the work. And you ask some very provocative and interesting questions. Wow. And so thank you. No. You know, you, it has been a joy. And so. think, speaking of thanks. <laughs> oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks. And to the Lord. This may be one of my favorites. Of wow. your, your For music. he is good. <laughs> For his mercy. Endureth forever. You all gonna have to go and check out uh, <laughs> Laurent's music. Go get it. Thank oh, you. give thanks because you know this hallelujah anyhow is just bananas. This is a song for every season and for every reason. Come what may, God still has the final say. Hallelujah anyhow. No matter what may come my way, God still has the final. Thank you so much for that piece. It's anointed and thank you. 
Another piece I said, this is this blows my mind because no matter how big our problems, LaRon reminds us that there's a great big God. You may have big problems, but God is bigger. Just remember, he's a great big God. Have you any rivers that seem uncrossable? And have you any mountain that you cannot touch? Great Big God, a song for all seasons. Man, so God-inspired. And, you know, just like you, I've gone through some health challenges. Yes, sir. And I listen to your music post coming out of some of these health challenges I've been going through. And this piece really spoke to me. Wow. Uh, you just simply said, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Your story you made it through. It's amazing. No one said that to me. What no one said congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really clever song as well. Sometimes so you win. Times you learn. You've been through the fire, but you survived the burns. And they tried to count you out. But you got back up again Congratulations You won again Now we're almost running out of time But I got to ask, ask you How did you come up with this song? Um, Honestly uh, I woke up one day And I was looking at some things And, I, and it just came to me It was like, man, congratulations You won again And then I started thinking about people who had challenges, not knowing I was going to have a challenge. Oh. And then God gave it to me, said, just write it for the people and just start congratulating them. And not knowing that, then um, then social media started showing me how to do little videos. And our first post it was uh, for Christine Cosby after she had a stroke. I said, let me make this video wow. for her to say congratulations. And so now I always try to make video while well, I was, and I'm still going to try to. For different people when I see, even if it's basketball, football, health, and whatever aspect in life you in, uh, congratulations. But well, let me want. say this to you. From this day forward, when I heard this, congratulations takes on a whole new meaning for me. Yes, sir. Like when uh -huh. you say congratulations, it's not for what, it's not for what you graduate, it's what for, the congratulations for what God has done. Yes, sir. The, Yes, you sir. know what I mean? Yes, and sir. it takes on a whole new meaning yes, from sir. when people have congratulated me for in the past. Yes, well, sir. Congratulations. Well, you congratulate me for what God has done in my life. Yes, sir. That is very profound. And we all won again. We all won congratulations again. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And congratulations Thank to you, you as well. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're going to wrap it. I want to ask you, what's next for you real quick? What's, uh, what's, what's, what, what's happening with you? What's coming well, first out? I'm, oh, what's, well, I've been blessed to have a song coming out on... Uh, uh, the choir master himself, Ricky Dillard. Wow. Um, that second song on his project. Second time being on one of his projects. So I'm blessed. Look for that in a few months called Redeemed. Yeah. And so they taking that and other things we working on. And right now I'm just trying to get through school. Well, That's let me just say thing. this. It's just been a de delight having you. That G in your name stands for Gabriel. And you certainly are a, a messenger. <laughs> Gabriel Laron, <laughs> Rainey. If I had a studio audience, you would be on your feet giving them a nice round of applause. Thank you so much, brother, for Thank coming you for having and me. sharing this time with me. Thank man. You. I really appreciate it. And I pray great success on the show that it will go for years and, and, and a long time around the world. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you to our studio, to our audience. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's going to wrap it up here, uh, wrap it up for us here on Black Music Footprints, the jazz experience. And uh, here we 
always deal with truth, justice, and power. My name is Mandre Moffitt. Congratulations, you won again. You have the victory, you had to win. Congratulations, you won again. You have the victory. Congratulations